This is 18 Mirador in Arabian ranches with a very large 15,000 square foot plot, but it's very high. Look at this. That's the neighbor. You can see the height difference. You can dig down into this garden to make the walls higher by making the floor lower. This is the balcony of the master bedroom. Let's go inside. So the master is quite small and it would need to be enlarged. This is the master right now. And the bathroom is right here with a very small walk-in wardrobe. This would need to be improved, of course. The bathroom itself is original. Everything in this villa is original. It's 18 years old with no upgrades. In fact, all of the settlement cracks are still here, which I'll show you as we browse the, browse the villa. It is a seven bedroom with six bedrooms upstairs and one guest bedroom downstairs. This is like the kids' room, which, as you can tell by the wallpaper. And uh, this is, uh, every bedroom has its own bathroom, except for a Jack and Jill just down this hall. There is a double level here. There's a living space, but it's not the best place to put a double level. One idea is to take the master bedroom, which is right here, and simply extend it over top to make this single level. Now, the, uh, the bedrooms do get smaller as you go to the different rooms. This one is facing the other side. Now, this is a single row villa, which means it doesn't have any villas on the front and back, just roads, but across the road is another set of villas. So it's almost like back to back. This is the Jack and Jill where I'm now entering, oh, this is the bathroom, and I'm now entering the second bedroom through the bathroom. So there's a shared bathroom here. And uh, there's two more bedrooms here. So that's one, two, three, four, yeah, there's five bedrooms upstairs. Oh, there's six? Okay, so six bedrooms upstairs. And it's 6,900 square foot built up area. This is a kind of like a cloudy ceiling with some green textured paint. Okay, so that's the upstairs. Now let's go downstairs. The stairs are in the wrong place. I would like to move the stairs. And this family area is also feels like it's in the wrong place. It should be at the edge of the villa, not in the middle of it. But we would need to see if it's possible to relocate the stairs. Okay, so let's look downstairs. This is the guest bathroom and the powder room, as it's called. So the kitchen is a closed kitchen. Uh, let me show you. Oh, this is the entrance. The entrance needs to be completely redone. I mean, it feels like you're entering a small townhouse. Let me show it to you as, if, as you're walking in. So you do have the access directly, like a view directly to the backyard, but there's so many of these unnecessary like narrow passages that can be opened up completely to give uh, a much grander entrance. Uh, this is the way to the maid's room, but here let me show you the kitchen. Uh, this is the kitchen. It's a closed kitchen, as I said. There used to be a door right there. You can see the edges of the door outlined here. But they closed it off. This leads to another area of the house. There's also a door leading to the backyard, which we'll go to at the end. But I don't like closed kitchens. We would like to open it, but I'm told Indian families prefer a closed kitchen so that the smell of the cooking stays in the kitchen, not permeating through the rest of the house. Another idea is to have the dirty kitchen or dry kitchen, which is where you would do the dirty and, or the spicy cooking. Uh, this is the maid's room. It's actually quite large for a maid's room with its own little uh, closet here for storage. And then there's a three-car garage uh, behind that door, but it's locked, so we can't access it. Now, on the ground floor, there's a lot of space, but there's also a lot of columns. We believe we can knock down many of these to have more open space. This is the double level which we'd like to enclose into uh, just having a uh, bigger master bedroom. And then this is like the living space. Now there's this 
unusual like pedestal here. And that's as built. This was, there was no modifications. That's how the villa came. But yes, we can uh, remove that. Uh, it's a heavy object though. Okay, now if we go to the backyard. So the backyard has this water feature, which we, I think we should remove. Uh, there is just a lot of empty space. So, let me show you. When you're looking past the wall, one side is the same height for the floor, like the, the grass, the neighbor, I should say. You can see here, right? Same height. But on the other side and on the road, it's a huge drop. Look at the difference. Like that is far lower. Look at the height of this wall. Like we can really dig down here and make this wall much taller to give us more sense of privacy or we can just put up a lot of trees along the side to do the same. Now, if we look at this side neighbor, you'll see that it's much, much lower. Okay, here we go. Look at where that yard is, how far down it is compared to this one. And I'm not sure how that happens because the road is flat, but just the contour of how they built these. So here there's also a maid's room or a driver's room as a separate uh, section that's been added on. Here you can see again an aluminum pergola and very far down how the, the height difference is. Now, there's, this is just storage. The, what they did is they dug down and built a room here for the driver, which may not be necessary. Like it feels, okay, it's locked, but, uh, but it is a vacant villa. It's, it has no tenants. Um, and uh, this is the front yard, also quite large. Now we should put an opening here. This is the guest bedroom. Oh, we didn't show you the guest bedroom. I need to go show it. We'll do that after this. First, I want to show you the view from the street. So this is the property line. Right here is where the property ends. This is Imar property now, Arabian Ranches. Uh, it's actually not that well maintained. I would have expected there to be grass, not sand, but oh well. Now over here is the front facing view. There's the triple car garage. This is how the villa looks from the front. All right. And let's show you the guest bedroom. Oh, and here is the entrance way. That's the front door right there. Not so grand. All right, let's go around the other side of the house. Little gate. Now this is real grass, obviously. Needs mowing but we can replace it with AstroTurf or artificial grass. Okay, so we're back in the backyard. Now there's no real road noise. If you listen carefully, you just hear the birds and the, um, well, and the water running. And there's also a lot of birds. Here you can see the pigeons coming. There was like 10 of them. Now they've all left because I came to them. And I think they all perch on the roof over there. So I imagine you're gonna get a lot of bird poop uh, from all these pigeons. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing because nature always has its poop and it's good to have nature. And these are the uh, foundation cracks that I mentioned, which we need to paint over. And they're everywhere. Uh, settlement cracks, I think they're called. Yeah. That's the whole thing with it. All right. So let me show you the guest bedroom. All right. This is the entrance. And the guest, this is a study. It's like a small office. But we can knock this out and make it into a bigger guest bedroom. So here's the guest bedroom. Right in the corner. And we were thinking again to make this into an open entrance, like a sliding door with its own bathroom. And they did the same thing on the ceiling, nice cloudy mural. Okay, that's it. 
uh, let's see uh, what we can do with this villa. All right, take care. Bye-bye.